All right, today we're doing a video on the Silvac Scan 52. This is uh, primarily for turn parts uh, measurements. It'll do cylinders, lengths, any kind of uh, rota rotational measurements are quickly possible with the Silvac Scan. One of the big advantages to this product is it allows you to do all your programming ahead of time. It'll recognize the part that's loaded by your operators and run the part program for you, greatly reducing the operator error and consistency between operators will increase as well. I've loaded the part into the Silvac scan. It's been pre-calibrated. All I have to do is push the start button and it will do a scan of the part. You can see the green line traveling down. It will then find the part, load it, and run it all with a no operator input whatsoever. As you can see, it scanned the part, found all the data that we were looking for with this particular program, gave me a nice report, passed the part, gave us a, an error field, which will allow you to determine whether or not your part, uh, your machining centers are getting worn, and gave me uh, my plus and minus uh, tolerance data. We can also do on-the-fly measurements using the composer. What the composer allows you to do is both static and rotational measurements to an existing part. So I can say that I want a diameter and just select the new diameter. It automatically measures it and adds it to my feature stack. As you can see, I've got a diameter of 4.27 millimeters. I can do that anywhere along the part, even though it's a previously measured part. And then I can move the data around to make the program easier to see. I can establish edges that I have not previously measured. And then establish distances between That gives me a new center line that I've referenced everything off of. In this demonstration, I'll put in a new part which does not have a program existing for it. We'll allow the Silvac scan to find the part, measure it, and then we will construct some features from it. Once again, we allow the software to do all the work. It'll come down, start scanning the part. It'll quickly generate a profile and give us a best case guess at what we would be looking for which is doing now, and it's starting to fill up the fields. Okay, now what is done here is it's, it's taking the profile that it sees, and it's guessing what you might want. Some, le some lengths, it established an edge, it gave us some diameters, but that may not be the data that you're actually looking for. So one of the things we can do is now open up the composer, and add the data that we're actually looking for to the program itself. It quickly comes up and is measured using the existing data that's in the software already. We can then establish a new center line from our two new diameters. We can establish edges that we don't previously have. A 
and then we can get straight line distances from edges to edges. As you can see, there's quite a bit of horsepower in the Reflex software. It gives you a, a simple yet powerful way to do inspection of round parts.